Game Marks. Everyone, thanks for tuning into this uh, Mike's play of Overlord. Uh, I'm starting at the DOS prompt here because I want you guys to, to take in this music here when the game starts. So this is a uh, 1990 PC game um, released in 1990 in Europe as Supremacy, Your Will Be Done, uh, a year later made it to the States uh, as Overlord, um, and on DOS, originally an Amiga title. The music um, is fondly remembered by, by several. Uh, I can't say I'm one of them, but in researching this, I saw it was quite mentioned, uh, often on this. Uh, the game probe software here, um, developed by David Perry and Nick Broody. Uh, David and Nick will, uh, after this game, they will go on to do Earthworm Jim together, create Shiny Entertainment, and also, um, MDK. So, um, quite, quite the pedigree of uh, game developers uh, on this game. So, this game is a <sighs> space combat sim, um, and not an action simulation, but, but management sim, space combat management sim. Uh, as you'll see, it's all menu-based. Um, I spent a lot of hours in this game. This game really sucked me in, and when I was going down my list of games I want to see if I can get running to do for my plays, and I popped this in, I immediately sunk like another eight hours in this game. Went to bed at 3 a.m. Uh, again, and then that just kind of nailed it of like, yep, this is the next one. If a game uh, from 1990 can do that to me in 2013, uh, there's definitely something about it. Although I don't know that this game is approachable, um, if you did not play it back in the day. If you don't have that nostalgia, uh, to kind of remember it, it, it's a little dense. Um, so what do we have going on here? Right here we have, uh, three races, there's a fourth race, uh, and you basically pick an opponent to challenge. There's some, uh, description here of the name of the planet. The most important thing here is this, this top box, and that there's an eight planet system, um, and he's a dumb race, uh, but very physically strong. This other stuff is just kind of for fun, added stuff. Um, to show you just how dated the game is, like, you don't click the, um, portraits to get to the next enemy. You have to click this view opponent and cycle, uh, through them. So the next race is highly intelligent, very weak, uh, is in a 16 planet system. The more planets in the system, um, the more protracted the battle will be and they eventually get up to a 32 planet system here um, with a pretty smart and tough uh, creature race uh, to combat and then last uh, we have Rorn which is the ultimate guy um, not only have I never taken down Rorn um, I've never even taken down uh, the third uh, tier I think I can do it now uh, I'm playing it a little bit. I think I could go at it again. I almost did it uh, in that up to 3 a.m. play session. So I think I could do it just whether I'm willing or not to sit down. Because these games, uh, like Civilization, they're not short. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to challenge the low end so that this video doesn't become like a four-hour multi-part series. Um, I've gone in and challenged him. He's, he's, not, even, he's not even playing fair. Um, all right. So, I'm going to hit challenge here, and I'm going to dive in, and this is the main screen. Um, here again, I'm going to turn to page uh, 58, uh, first paragraph, there you go, I typed that in, yeah. Um, that's one thing I'm not 
missing from the old games. So uh, the credits again come up on the, the main screen. Um, and since the clock is ticking, I'm going to hit pause real quick and, and pause my date to keep my guy going to kind of explain what we're looking at here. Uh, so all these icons get to all the other management screens. Uh, this is over here is our message box where there'll be uh, messages of, of how we're doing and the things that we do. And also random events will pop up here. Anytime you hear that chime that we heard, uh, you really need to check your messages because uh, you may have to go do something immediately. Uh, this is the planetary map. So these pixels uh, are the planets. Uh, I mean, this game originally runs at 320 by 200 resolution, so cut them some slack, guys. Uh, it's kind of cool in the 3D effect that they have for spinning around, like if you watch that guy. Uh, it won't animate while my mouse is over it. Um, if you watch that guy spin, he gets brighter than darker, then brighter than darker, right? Um, yeah, okay, so amazing tech for the day. Um, and there's a little cool little animation about the planet here. Uh, I'm on my star base. This is the uh, little ape race. That's their 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 main base here. Um, all I have to do is take out their base. I don't have to conquer all the planets. Uh, I just have to take out their base. In the eight planet map, um, the galaxy is small enough that I can just fly my ships from here to his base, and I don't have to plan stops along the way. As the maps get more dense, uh, you'll need to plan refueling in substations, which create side battles, uh, but eventually it's, it's this tug-of-war system. As the AI gets more intelligent, they will also skip planets, and they won't necessarily uh, m march in a straight line. Uh, they will jump and hit some of your more, you know, whatever they think uh, is going to hurt you the most. You do have an intel uh, information button here which will tell you about a planet. Um, you can go to their planets and this icon right here you can spy on their planets to try to learn what kind of military forces are on the planet, what kind of planet resources there are available, the type of planet uh, that it is. Different planet types uh, as we'll see uh, have, have different <clears throat> properties and, and work well in uh, certain roles. So what do we got down here? Uh, there's a stat chart, there's buying stuff, there's managing uh, our ships, both battleships, uh, cargo ships, and also uh, deploying uh, surface ships for like food and fuel harvesting, um, also orbital uh, satellites for energy, which energy, minerals, and fuel make up, uh, along with currency, make up the resources in the game. Uh, here's our, our terraformatter for taking over new planets. Uh, uh, un uncolonized planets, um, training our, our military, uh, cargo bay for managing cargo ships, um, the surface of planets and managing what ships are on the surface, uh, the war, the combat menu, which is also per planet based, uh, spying, and saving and loading the game. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to jump in and buy myself, uh, this atmospheric processor. So I'm gonna low base. Oh, hey, later the basic is being redesigned. So I I can't quite do that just yet. All right. Well then, uh, I'm gonna jump in, I guess, and buy. I'm gonna buy two. Uh, one of these, and buy one of these. So now I've bought a um, solar. Which there's nothing to do to it. Um, it'll collect solar energy, beam it to the planet, and a farming ship, which does need a crew. So you do have to come to the cargo screen. You know, now I got a crew on board, and now that I got a crew on board, I can jump to the planetary menu. And notice that most of these menus are hot linked, um, and I can select the farming. And then also, I need to click and turn him on. You need to make sure these are running, and there are events in the game that can stop them from running. So I'll go to the stat screen, and you can see that our food production is positive. We've got a good store of minerals, good store of fuel, good store of energy happening. Uh, you do want to put one solar array in orbit for every uh, ship on the planet to kind of keep the energy okay. Uh, energy can also, uh, fuel and minerals can also be used to buy um ships in the higher difficulties at the low difficulty however um you're just going to be dealing with uh money so we've got quite a bit of money here 
Um, and I'm going to, since we got quite a bit of money and I'm not worried about it, I'm going to drop the tax rate down to about 15% um, to let our population grow. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go back here real quick. Buy another farming uh, system. Uh, buy another solar array. Let's go ahead and go to here. And that puts both my solar array now in orbit above Starbase. There's nothing else to do with them once they're in orbit. Let's go to the cargo bay. Let's take the farming and let's get the crew on board, which the crew does take from your civilians. So 175 civilians did go down from my crew. Um, go to the surface, put it on the surface, turn it on, and then I'm just go buy one more thing. Uh, well, let's get another solar array. And let's get a refinery going. Um, and we'll jump into here. Crew the refinery. Uh, let's go to get the solar arrays in orbit. And let's get on the surface. Deploy our mining facility. So we're also uh, going to make sure our, our minerals here and fuel uh, keep climbing. Uh, minerals are pretty much going to be a non-issue in this this easy mode. Um, energy will just really be needed to power things. Uh, but fuel will be necessary to fly ships. Um, so we don't have anything going on here yet. Uh, we can't buy that. Let's just go back to our stats. Um, our population. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just take out an insurance policy. And begin training up a couple platoons. There's that chime for a message coming in. Now I know what this message is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. This is also, you can see, it's taken from my civilians. Uh, I'm going to get four platoons going here. Uh, you can have a max of 24 active platoons uh, when they all die, or you can also disband them. Uh, you can reuse a platoon. And so now you see that they're training down here, and their percentage is going up to their effectiveness, and their rank will go up. And so basically you're just going to leave them in boot camp for a while and come back. Uh, our message here is basically carbon unit. You know, he's coming in from Wotok, our, our enemy. It's like, hey, you're breaking the, the treaty. It doesn't matter. You're, anything you do breaks the treaty. The You know, it's overlord. It's not peacemaker. So whatever, Wotok, just go eat a banana and chill. Um, all right, so while they're training... Um, oh, there we go. We got our atmosphere processor is now available. So let's go in here and buy one real quick. Oops. Uh, I don't have enough credits for this. Uh, oh, I need a few more credits, okay. Um, I didn't pay attention to my money. I can sit here for a moment, listen to the vibes going, um, and, and build that amount. I can jump over here and say, the population's going up. Let's go ahead and jack the rate up to 20%. Um, there's a send all credits home, but you don't have any planets yet, so... Almost there. Alright. Notice I get a chance to name all them. I normally do not rename the ships. Um, now the, the atmosphere works a little different. It launches from this button. Um, it'll tell you how long it's going to take. Uh, and it asks for the name. I never... Um, and of course we'll talk. It's like, hey, these stars are mine. And deactivate it. There's not even an option to deactivate it, so take that banana and, and stuff it up your arse. I don't care. Um, I don't name the planets until they're completely formed. The, the reason for that is, you'll see here in a moment, is different planets provide uh, different advantages uh, to you. Some planets are better for population, some are better for farming, some are better for fuel, um, some are better for energy, and I just kind of name the planets what they're good for, which kind of helps me know... Um, in the different menus, when all I see is is text name of planets, which ones I want to focus on. Um, so while we're building up here, let's go see real quick. Um, all right, these guys are up to 100%. Uh, I'm not going to train them. So right now what you would do is you would hit this button. Uh, I don't even have 20,000 credits, so I couldn't even do it if I wanted. And I would equip them with this level armor, which is, you know, like, I don't know, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Predator armor. Um, or I could actually 
make them the predator. I can give them some nice armor. Uh, the top tier armor is this force field and their jockeys. Now, since we can make this armor, my preference would just be to like take this armor and have that armor. Like, like l let's combine them. But um, I'm not the scientist, so what do I know? Uh, and then we have the guns here. So we get a little bit more powerful. There's the most powerful gun, and that's going to cost uh, 109. I know that number very well, because I always max the uh, platoon to the best uh, of their ability. Um, which is funny, because it's like a mortar shot. And it's like, yeah, you just can't send everybody in with mortars. That's not going to work. But the game is just all stat-based. Uh, there was a Nintendo version of this game that came out in 93, I think. Um, not a real popular... Uh, NES game, because it came out late uh, in the Nintendo cycle. And also, it's really way dumbed down on the system. Um, so this is definitely, you know, like PCs where you play this. I love that animation for terraforming. It's a very, like, Wrath of Khan, uh, Project Genesis, you know, feeling there of like, yeah, we terraform it by burning. You know, that's, that's how that happened. That's how you create atmosphere. Alright, uh, stat-wise, uh, the food supply, we gotta keep kind of an eye on it, um, it's negative, meaning it's been going down, let's go ahead and, uh, can we afford to buy another, yes, farming station, get another solar array, um, let's take the farming, we put the crew on it. If you forget to put the crew on it, it'll tell you, hey, you can't, um, deploy that because you didn't put a crew on it. All right, and we got a message. Planet 1, format complete. So what do we get? All right, so we got a volcanic planet. This is good for minerals. So what I usually do is I come in here, and I hit Planet 1, and I hit Rename, and I'll call it Mine one. Uh, and then I know that that is a good planet for fuels and minerals. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead here and jump out and terraform the next planet. Uh, mineral planet at the moment. Um, not really you know, a food planet or a civilian planet is kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, I don't really, I'm not going to really need the minerals here and I'm not even going to help the people out. Like I don't really care about the population that's there um, to to get that. Let's go down to my star base. My population's going. Food calc. Looks like we're in the positive. Uh, food production. Eh, it's flaking around a little bit. Let's make sure um, that our ship's in orbit. Um, here we go. A magnetic storm is swept across the cutting, affecting equipment. This is one of those things you got to kind of be aware of because what that actually means... Uh, is that it powered off all our stations, and if you miss that and don't run to all your planets and turn that back on, you will just watch everybody starve. Um, not a good way to go. How are we doing on money? Alright, so 45, uh, there. We're quite, not quite well enough to outfit a platoon yet. Um, but even if we did, we don't have money for the, the, the barn and all that, so... Um, you know, I got a lot of fuel here. I could, if I want, send this guy... So let's just do that just for, um, let's take him offline, we'll go to our cargo bay. Now, um, I can put people on him, he's got a couple seats, what do we got coming in? Format complete. Uh, it's a solar planet, which is good for energy, not, not what I'm looking for here. Um, let's go ahead and planet 2, rename, soul 1. Um, I hate that. Rename, S-O-L, it's one. Okay. Um, so it's a solar planet. Again, I won't really be needing that much energy, um, since I'm not using it to buy vehicles. So anyway, back here. I could put crew on here and ship some civilians out, which I'm almost to, uh, max civilian population is about 30,000, I think, on the home planet. Um, but I do need fuel. So he needs 100 fuel to get into orbit, Plus 50 fuel for every planet. Um, since I want to save my fuel, um, 
and not have extraneous, then I will just put the minimum on him. And so we'll take mining one, we launch him, um, and then we select a destination. This is the ship that's selected, tells you mining one up here. And then say he's en route to mine one, now he's above mine one, and now he lands. Um, now he's in the docking bay, so we go to the planet surface, and we hit him, and we put him on the surface, and we activate him. Gotta do all that to get something on the surface. It can get quite frustrating when there's a lot of these messages coming in. Uh, and now he's all pissed off that, um, uh, we've, we've moved ships, because he's pissed off about everything. And food supplies are low on Starbase, so, um, this is because our, our population is getting out of control here. Um, let me just make sure, okay, everybody's on, let's go by one of these. We have one in orbit already. From uh, there, buy two more docking bay, farming crew, farming crew. Let's put another solar in orbit. Let's go to the surface. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, we should be good here, um, and that should recover a little bit. So we lost like 10,000 people because we had no food. And that's the pace at which this, things happen in this game. Uh, and it can get really kind of crazy in the higher levels um, with that. So um, food production should start shooting up here. What's coming in? Warning, food supply. Yeah, I know. I just put two more units uh, on the surface. I can't. Um, we can just max that out, I guess. Uh, buy. Turn. Um, I think... Are we okay on energy? Yeah, we've got a lot of energy, so I'm gonna go ahead and go light on uh, my normal energy production. Uh, levels. Let's go into farming. Let's crew it. Let's surface it. Let's turn it on. So now I really can't crank out any more food production than that, guys. Um... Hopefully we find a planet that we can we can produce food faster on. And it looks like we're negating a positive, but then again we've lost twenty thousand people now to starvation. Um, all right, let's just spike that population uh, number by dropping the tax rate to zero for a moment, and then that'll get this to drop really quickly. Um, I think this is actually an inverse relationship. If you want me personally. Uh, I think there's a lot more fucking going on uh, when taxes are high and, and life is horrible. Like, you know, at that point, like, what else is going on? Let's just fuck. When um, you got a lot of money and everything like that, it's like, you know, you're kind of going out, you're supporting the arts, you're busy, you're entrepreneurial, you know. So, I don't know. But, you know, no sim game has ever agreed with me in that respect. You know, lower population, higher tax rate, lower tax rate, higher population. Um, I guess it's a wonderful, um, capitalist view that everybody just moves into a low tax region. You know, that's, that's the reason why everybody moves, uh, not because there may or may not be enough food supplies for everybody to live, but because, you know, there's no taxes right now. Come on, get down there. All right, we'll, we'll come back to that in a moment. Um, you know, since they're dying anyway... Just go ahead and instate another draft here. Since I know I'm going to want uh, the maximum you could put on a battleship is 12 platoons. So I'm going to slowly keep building to 12 platoons. Are we back in the positives for properly? How can we not be? Like, you guys should be making out like rabbits. What's going on? Planet 3 finished? Alright, what do we got on Planet 3? Okay, Planet 3 is a Civ planet. So that's that's good. Because um, it'll be a good tax base um, for us. So, uh, let's get in here. Planet 3, rename it. Civ 1. Um, and let's go right into Civ 1. We're going to have to uh, stock it up with a couple farmings. Um, we're gonna need a couple 
uh, solar arrays, but see, the thing is, is that we only have three docking bays, so you kind of got to micromanage this stuff while, you know, what, what can you do? Um, let's crew both of these, and then, let's see, the planet, 100, 1, 2, 3, so that's another 150, so 250 in fuel is going to be the, the um, requirements. I wish I could just type in 250, but... Um, doesn't let me type in those numbers. Um, all right. Come on, get up there. 250. Farming 8. Yep, 2250. And at this point, I would also put a bunch of uh, civilians on here if the population on, on Starbase hadn't dropped so drastically because we hit that ceiling. And food supplies ran out. All right, there we go. All right, so let's go to the screen. Take off, move, Civ one, and then this is the horrible part. Now you got to remember, like, you got to click on the ship names to get back to the docking bay on Starbase. Solar, move to Civ one, and then farming seven. No, farming eight is on docking base on Starbase. Click farming eight up. Go to Civ 1, and now uh, above Civ 1 should be Farming 7, Land, Farming 8, Land, um, let's go to the Docking Bay, no, no, let's go to the Planet Surface, deploy these guys, turn them on, hit the charts, um, so... We got some food production going up, and that population will grow for a little bit. Let's come back home, and the population's growing. Let's put the tax rate back up to the modest 25%. Uh, well, 20%, and recover a bit. In fact, let's go to Civ and drop it to 20% um, while we can. And now, since we have multiple planets, I can come to Starbase and hit Send All the Money Home. Uh, and you have to hit that button to get your money. So, let's go ahead and buy another one of these... And buy and buy two more food and then come into here farming, crew it, farming, crew it, uh, two fifty. If I wanted to put cargo on here, uh, or move population, you know, you, you put in the, the civilians on, on this screen, uh, it doesn't have any seats, okay. Um, but you can also put stuff in the cargo capacity. Okay. Let's go to here. Solar 7. Take off. Move. To Civ 1, farming 10, okay, farming 9, take off, move to Civ 1, farming 10, take off, move to Civ 1, farming 9, EDA, oh, we got a message, what do we got? Format complete, planet 4, it's another sun planet, and now we're pretty much done terraforming, because he's got these. Um, at this point... Let's see. I'm going to be worried about him taking over this planet. Um, I want to buy... Well, let's... Wait, wait, let's... Let's... Okay, quickly, let's finish out. Farming 10 is in orbit. Farming 9 is in orbit. They're there. We'll have to keep an eye. Hopefully energy won't run out on that planet. Um, send all the money home. Uh, all the money is home. Let's buy a battle cruiser. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put two platoons. Even though I don't have the money to, you know, max outfit them the way I like, uh, we're gonna low outfit them. Um, now they're equipped. Platoon 2, now they're equipped. We go to here, we have to have a 
battleship in, in the docking bay to put two on here. Um, what's going on? Incoming message. Treaty is broken. Um, so he's all pissed off. Whatever. Take your bananas. Shove them. Um, also, as this face starts coming in, is kind of like his progress, how aggressive he's getting. The darker it is, the more you're losing. Let's go to the here. Battleship needs a crew. Um, I always max fill the battleships, and I always put a bunch of fuel in their cargo because they may be out for a while. Um, and you don't want to have a battleship running. Uh, so it's in transit. Let's go here real quick. Um, this was a desert planet. Go back to ship flying battle. Uh, we can take our Atmos. There's no reason for it anymore. And we can delete it because um, I thought we could delete it. Atmos one. Huh. I don't know why we can't delete it. We can delete it in other ones. I don't know why it's not letting us unnamed. Unnamed. Anyway, um, now in orbit above Civ 1, we dock it, we go to Civ 1, and now I've put these guys on the surface. So this is the, the strength of my troops on the surface. You can increase the strength by the aggression, but they will also die quicker. I have never benefited from playing with that number. Just leave it alone. All right. Um, this is the enemy troops, if they were on there. So I expect he's going to start making some waves and attacking. Um, we're going to take Battleship 1. Um, we're going to take off, and we're going to head back to the Starbase. Uh, and just leave it hovering around the Starbase until we're ready for that. How are we doing, Starbase? Send money home. Um, we're getting back up to food production. We're getting pretty high up to the max. So at this point, I'm going to jack it up to 35%. Um, that'll slow the growth down a lot. The Civ 1 planet is still kind of building. Uh, and they could use some two more food. Uh, probably one more energy unit. So let's get them that. All right, crew up. Um, those guys and give them two fifty. Farming twelve, farming eleven. Oops, there we go. Uh, let's take off. Solar. Go over to Civ. Farming 11. Let's go over to Civ. Farming 12. Let's go over to Civ. What sucks sometimes, if you miscalculate, you, you can um, have them uh, take off. And when they arrive uh, or when you try to send them to the planet like hey I don't have enough fuel you've burned that 100 like you can't you know there's no space refueling that you can do um, okay get these on and then hopefully food production on Civ will, will stay positive Starbase uh, I can't really do much more than that for you let's go ahead and jack up to 40% uh, taxation rate because um, you can't row population, we're kind of at our max here. Um, and just get as much money as we can. But now we got hundreds of thousands of dollars, so um, we're going to go back to our training. And now we're going to start training the, the force that we're eventually going to send in. Um, platoon equipped. On the fourth. Platoon equipped. Uh, so we got two. Now you can see that these two guys 
add up to 37, um, 100, and 900 was the strength of the two guys, uh, the two platoons uh, from the other one. Let's go ahead, since I told you I know I'm going to need... Um, oh, well, the 12th, yeah. Yeah, I can't just roll it back. Uh, let's go ahead and get all these guys maxed out here. Actually, I'm going to need the 13th and the 14th since I garrisoned those other guys. So you can send in at once uh, three platoons per battleship and three battleships um can go in because you have three docking bays like you, you use the docking bays I guess when you invade because you're nice um, I believe when a battleship goes into the docking bay it destroys whatever was there so if you have things in your docking bay um, you could very well lose them when the enemy, enemy invades um, so that platoon's equipped um, let's go back here to our money send money home we got enough to equip another let's check in on Civ their food's going well. Their population's growing at a good clip. Starbase, um, yeah, I just we're just not going to be able to hang on to it. Um, sucks. I mean, we didn't hit a farming planet, so it doesn't really make sense to send a bunch of food units to another planet to farm because uh, we're not going to get that. Now, sometimes what usually will happen here is you'll get a message that says like, "Hey, your scientists have upgraded the production uh, of our of our fuel." I'm sorry, of our food. Um, and then later it'll say like, oh, we realized that really was not working, so all food production has gone back to normal. But you get a temporary boost, which, which really helps. Um, so, um, I'm not replacing the troops that I'm taking. Drop down to 35. Um... Wow. Like, morale's dropping, population's dying off because we're running out of food. So, uh, we can outfit two more units. And um, I think we're going to do that here. News just in. Your scientists made a new hybrid that has doubled the output of all your horticultural stations. So that just came in right at the the perfect moment that um, our our food issue. Uh, let's just drop that down and hopefully um, the starvation problems go away quickly um, and it doesn't get that low. Although our um, our other guys out here are doing do quite well. I'm going to drop their tax rate for a moment too. Uh, and we'll just build, we'll come back to this real quick, but let them build uh, troops. So I've got, oh, I'm on planet Civ. I don't want to be on planet Civ. Alright, yeah, so I've got four troops. I've got 74, 48. They're all max. They're all perfect uh, fighting force. So 74, 48. Now I'm going to come over to his uh, enemy base, and I'm going to pay for some spy. And it's like, hey, do you want to know how many resources you got? The population, his war status, or everything. Let's click everything. And we can see how much food he's got on there, minerals, fuel, energy, enemy strength. So he is 1129. So we don't want to mess with him yet. He, he's, um, and then he caught our spy. So uh, we probably just antagonized him. But we know what we're up against. It's 1122 number. And we're going to need a lot more uh, forces to take him down. Which I knew, which is why we were building them anyway. Um, sending money into Starbase. Okay, um, Civ is maxed. Let's get that up to 40,000. I'm sorry, 40%. Uh, and tax these guys. Is, is, I think 40% is kind of the highest you can tax them without dropping their pop growth. Um, morale dies, but, you know, whatever. I don't care. You're, you're not the main base. Um... We're still waiting on a recovery here. Um, there, so um, we kind of need to pick it up.
enemy is attacking Soul 2, and they took Soul 2. So he took a planet. Um, because he's the, um, the low intelligence guy, he's going to march down in order. Um, so Soul 2 is going to be coming under attack uh, here shortly. And we'll see what he attacks with. Uh, usually they just kind of go in with these really light forces at the beginning, um, but we got a garrison force, so uh, that should should work in our favor. We'll see here in a moment. Hey, we got 108. All right, so we can go 108. Come on, come on, come on. 109. Come on, 109. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop and. Oh, I, I, I don't not have any money coming because I gotta send it all home. Um, my star base, uh, I'm rebuilding a population, or at least trying to get their population growth going again. Uh, Civ population, their morale's dropping, but they're doing fine and they're building up tons of food stores. Uh, okay. Another platoon. So we can go to our war status, and now with five platoons, we can see we're up to 9310, so we're still outgunned in that fight. And you don't want to go in just slightly overgunned. It seems like the computer uh, has an advantage. Or maybe there's a home planet advantage. Uh, enemies attacking Civ 1, so let's go check that out. So there's his strength, 303, my strength is 923. You can see we'll um, uh, take him out. Um, you can cycle some videos. I kind of like this one. Like, huh? What? Wait, I hear something. Bam! And then, uh, this one. Hey, we're shooting back. Oh, you should have ducked. No scope. Um, yeah, so you kind of get these little, uh, animations you could play on here. But, yeah, this is the combat, you know. And then there's platoons are going down. But he invaded with a force of about 300, um... I may just go ahead and staff up a couple more cheap troops and get them out there if this these guys get much below. Um, yeah, it looks like if, if he sends in another crew not too far from now, uh, we could be in, in a world of hurt. Attention, a very large image has appeared on the navigation and radar assessing. Coming from the planet, uh, name Scorpion before type. A coded message. Uh, request 900 tons of fuel and 300 tons of food. Would you like to comply? I've always said no to these, but I'm going to say yes. I never do that. Ship teleported goods away and disappeared off all instruments. Okay. I always say no to those. And I was like, oh, well, you know, so it has been done or something. And I, I don't know what that does. Probably since I've around an encounter later that I've never, um connected the dots on. Let's go to our army uh, here real quick. Oh, okay. We gotta handle some pop tax. Let's get these guys back up to uh, 25%. Uh, let's check in on Civ. We're still capped. We're still making buku bucks. Send all the cash home. Um, Alright. So, in our training here, uh, we can go ahead and do oops. Another max unit. And then with that money, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple. One, two, three garrison units. Um, and then I got my 12th, my 13th, and my 14th. But we're going to go ahead and train up a few more platoons to replace those three. Because, I mean, again, you got to wait for them to train up down there. So you just want to kind of make sure that uh, you've always got them going. So you kind of have to remember here, it's like, all right, so the 11th, 10th, and 9th are the ones that I want to move. All right, let's go get our battle cruiser. Attack war update. Enemy has taken planet soul one. Oh, so he just kind of leapfrogged it. All right. You, you do that, then. Um, again, like I said, I wasn't too interested in... I'm just focusing on two planets for money. Let's go to our battle cruiser. Needs to land. 
Um, we're going to put the 11th, 10th, and 9th on there. You can see our, our other force is now uh, close to his uh, fighting force. So we'll, we'll be able to turn that tide. Let's go to cargo real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and refuel battle cruiser. Let's go to Civ 3. And we're there. Land. Alright, now we've got 2114, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and, you know, let's go to cargo. Um, let's take any fuel off of Civ 1. Um, they don't need it. Uh, they got tons of food. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, well, no, I'll leave their energy. Their minerals, it doesn't matter. Um, and their civilians are all good. Yeah, alright, we're good there. All right, we are going to need a second uh, battleship to get in all of our guys. How many are we looking at right now? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. So just probably two uh, platoons are going to be enough to do this. I mean, I'm sorry, two maxed uh, units. Let's see where that puts us because we can go ahead and... All right, these guys haven't been equipped yet. They're at 100%. All right, um, let's go ahead and see what we got now. So I'm at 14, so two ships will give me 1,400. Um, and he has taken the mine planet, all right. Um... All right, let's see. You can see it's really dark. He's about to really take over the world, but I mean, he, he'd get jacked up if he landed on home planet. How are we doing here? Send all the money home. Uh, we can go ahead and outfit another troop. I want to leave a garrison. I don't want to take these guys off world and not have a garrison left um, as he's roaming through. Uh, Um, oh, good. Our population on the home base is also maxed, so let's just go ahead and get it up to 40%. And Civ Station, 40%, and we're doing good. And go ahead and garrison an another. So we got two units we can leave behind. Um, let's go. Where's our battle cruiser? Go ahead and land. Um... Let's go ahead and fuel up. Let's go buy another battle cruiser. Cargo ships I haven't messed with, but if uh, you wanted to ferry stuff back and forth uh, between planets, which you definitely get into in the higher ones when you start needing to spend uh, minerals and energy to buy ships, um, that becomes a, a big factor. Okay, uh, battle two. Crew it up. Um, we we'll need to go in here and, and drop off of, oh wait, okay, so, oop, 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 they, they, they filled that in. Good for you. Good on you guys. I, I thought you're, you wouldn't do that, but you did, and you surprised me. Alright, let's send that home. We can go ahead and train another force for garrison. We also might need these forces, um, as reinforcements. Like I said, uh, or started to say, um... It can uh, seem like the defending planet gets an advantage um, in those numbers. You know, you obviously dominate. Um, okay. Um, so we got those. We got a 5,000 troop left. Um, let's go ahead and battle one. Go to the enemy base. Battle two. Oh, crap. I didn't fuel it. I don't think they can destroy ships in orbit. 
I'm not 100% on that, but I don't think that ever happens. Okay, so seven days, and then we'll be good there. Um, did Atmos 1 disappear finally? I guess we did actually delete it, and it just kind of glitched there. Um, bugs are nothing new in games. And counting down. Before we land, we're on the planet. Let's just go ahead and spy again. And he's still at the same 1100 enemy strength. Um, he's attacking Civ 1. What does that look like? Um, okay, yeah, he came back with a little stronger of a force, but we're gonna, we're okay on that. Um, so let's go ahead back to, um, Battle 1, land, Battle 2, land, go to the War Machine, get them on the surface, get them on the surface, um, you can hit this auto scale button to kind of look at the bar graph of this fight. Um, and what I'm going to do now is go ahead and, and click off of that, take battle one, get it in orbit, fly it home. And then I'm going to take battle two, get it in orbit, and fly it home. Because um, you never, never know how those end up. Let's send all money home. And then we can do about three more platoons can be um, outfit. Oh, and I don't have them trained, do I? Crap. All right, let's get three more training. Heck, do a fourth. All right. Let's go see how the war is going. Okay, we're still in command here, um, and it's looking okay, but this gap, man, starts to close, and, um, things just go bad. I don't, I don't know the exact, um, algorithms in place, or how to use them, but, um, definitely in the higher difficulties, it seems. It seems like, uh, to take like the third guy down, I'm going to need double his force um, to the point where I'm going to just have to max this out uh, with top level troops, which means um, six ships of troops full going out or shuttling and ferrying with three um, with that. But it looks like this might go ahead and end. Um, man, numbers are dwindling. Uh, here. But now his, his strength will not jump back up immediately. Uh, and we're probably in a very good position to, um, scale it up. Make it look like we're awesome. Um, so he will need time to replenish and, uh... He, he, will, he won't be able to replenish as quick as I can send it in that next batch of troops. <laughs> Well, I'm so tempted just to go ahead and, and outfit a ship and send it over. How are we doing? 84%, 90%, 96%. Um, the 18th is ready. The 19th is ready. The 20th is ready. And the 21st is ready. Alright, it looks good. I feel good about this here. We should have him um, and win this game. I mean, this, this might seem really dense um, if, you're, if you're watching this, giving today's gaming... Uh, scene and, and all that, but I mean, these kind of management sim games uh, really had their heyday in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and I, I don't know, there, there is something fun about just, you know, micromanaging these numbers 
um, and, and new new systems and not having any actual combat. Great irony, you know, I don't like the menu-based combat of JRPGs, but, you know, this whole uh, Excel game, Microsoft Excel, uh, although it would have been like Lotus Notes back then, um, Lotus 1, 2, 3, the uh, appeal of that, you know, like why I like one and not the other, I don't know. Um, we're about to have victory here. I will be the overlord. It will be supreme. My will will have been done. Alright, I'm gonna punch that button. Ha! Ah, we're really angry. I'm going to kill you quickly. All right, you have successfully taken the enemy's planet. It seems, however, that the alien you fought has not... ...was not the true mastermind of the attack. It was the evil Rorn. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna attack Rorn. His cod piece scares me. The alien's failure has ended in his swift execution by your hand. The way is now clear. You have only one option. His armies are seriously depleted, but he is still a ruling force in the Usato system. The Wrath of Horn will survive until you are in control of the Usato system. You know what? I'm cool, man. He can stay on his side. I can stay on mine. Um, he needs time to recover from defeat. Yeah, right. He's not recovering from squat, man. Um, bring him in. Like, I'm bringing him in for space justice. Whatever. Um, although I gotta admit, like, I kind of love this, like retro game over screen um we're, we're throwing a narrative together that sounds like you know some 13 year old boys got together and just like you know oh but you're not the supreme force in the galaxy yeah write that down this is good stuff this is gold this is gold um but yeah this has been uh overlord or as some of you may have known it uh supremacy your will be done and uh, thank you for watching